Hello and welcome to this video where we will be going through the proper use of a refractometer to check the coolant level in a MAG 8200 water-cooled lawnmower blade sharpener. So when you purchased your unit, whether you got it water-cooled uh, directly from the factory or whether you added the water cooling kit to your sharpener later, you were provided with a portable refractometer. So let's open this up. First, we'll find there's a cleaning cloth, a little instruction booklet. This will tell you how to calibrate the refractometer, which is very simple. And then here's the unit itself. And we'll give you a little closer look. So here is the refractometer. This end you would look through. And this end uh, is similar to a microscope slide in that we're, this is where we're going to place uh, a couple droplets of the coolant and then close the slide and then we'll look through it. So to put the coolant on the slide itself, the little kit has a pipette if you'd like to use that. It's also perfectly fine to use your finger and get a little bit of the coolant. So we'll open up the slide here. We'll turn the coolant pump on and there's plenty running over the work table. We'll just dab my finger in there and put some on the slide, turn off the pump and we'll have a quick look. So right now our coolant level is at uh, just about the 3.3 that we spec with uh, the initial charge of the tank. So we're well within range. We always want to sit between essentially one bricks and that 3.3. So you might ask yourself, what's the pros and cons of going above or below? So if our bricks number or concentration becomes too low, we are going to have less of the rust prevention properties of the coolant. And so that's negative because then all the metal shavings that are around in, in the machine, as well as the ones that are collecting in the filter sock, are all going to rust and become orange. It'll turn your coolant orange. Um, they'll harden into a mass. It just becomes unpleasant. So we want to keep that concentration above one. What happens if we go too high? Well, too high isn't too big a problem, but too high will happen when you have evaporation. Because of course, it's largely water in the coolant mix and you will evaporate. Some will be on the blades. Um, you'll wipe some off. So you will lose coolant over time slowly. So generally speaking, try to stay in that range. But if you are too high, it's simply adding water. If you're too low, you simply add a little bit more of the coolant and you can just add a little splash let it cycle for a while, and then check it again with the refractometer. Same thing with the water. If you add some water, check it afterwards with the refractometer. Uh, generally speaking, for mower blade sharpening, it would be something of perhaps checking your system once a month or twice a season uh, to see where the concentration levels are. As well as you can always tell by the graduated uh, lines, letting you know how many gallons are in the tank. If you all of a sudden see the tank extremely low, well, you'll know then at that point to pull out the refractometer, add water and or coolant, and check the concentration. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching.